Okay, so let's get right down to the components of the Studio Detox program. It's important that you understand why this program has been put together in the way that it has. That will help you stay engaged. If you understand the why, you know, then, then it makes more sense to you and you're not saying, oh my gosh, why, you know, I have a headache for the first couple of days. Why am I suffering through this headache? It makes no sense to me. Is this going to last forever? So I think it's important for you to understand the components of the Studio Detox program um, so you can stay engaged and you can understand what your body is going through and it'll make sense to you and it'll be fascinating to you, in fact. Absolutely fascinating as you understand what's happening here. So elimination is obviously a very big part of this program, but not the elimination that everybody thinks. You're not going to have loose stools every day of this detox program. In fact, you may have loose stools now and you, you, your stools will likely normalize through this program. You may be somewhat constipation, your stools will likely normalize through this, this program. So elimination simply means eliminating foods that irritate your body, that irritate the gastrointestinal tract. That irritation then causes interference of nutrient absorption. It's all boggy and inflamed, so you don't get a good release of toxins through that membrane that is so dynamic, but that's being interfered with by the inflammation caused by the irritation, which resulted from foods that you're eating that your body is reactive to. This affects directly your immune function, also neurotransmitter production. So there's a huge gut-brain association here. 80%, 85 maybe even up to 90% of your serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that all of us know is important for mood uh, to, to help eliminate uh, or, or prevent somebody from having anxiety and depression. It also contributes to carbohydrate cravings. Often when we are in a carbohydrate crave state, it's because we're low in serotonin and the body wants a boost of that serotonin. It happens pre-menstrual. You know, it happens at different times of our, our lives for various reasons. So these are important disturbances that occur as a result of poor elimination. So poor elimination of toxins, poor elimination of uh, 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 your bowel movements, poor elimination of inflammation and various other things that cause disturbances. Then, of course, there's a detoxification. So you have to be able to eliminate the detox, the uh, toxins that we are detoxifying you from. Otherwise, you're not really detoxifying. You're just relocating. Okay. So we open the elimination system. And then we flood your body with all of the raw materials that it needs naturally to efficiently run phase one and phase two of liver detoxification. If you don't feed phase two and only phase one, that you get a buildup of these intermediary toxins, which can be very, very toxin, uh, toxic rather. They could even be more toxic than the original toxins. Right? <laughs> this is a big deal. So we've opened up the elimination system. We have contributed to causing less toxification while we're clearing our toxification. We're optimizing our detoxification system in the liver with nutrients. We're flooding the body with other ultra nutrients so that we can have wonderful cell signaling. We can have a hydrated system. We can have a system running optimally. So this is not a program of deprivation. This is a program of ultra nutrition and, and really optimal function. The body is very, very resilient. It can overcome many obstacles that we put in front of it, but it, we need to provide it with the tools and the nutrients to do the job. And so that's what, again, more of what this targeted supplementation is all about and food choices. You are going to be eating and supplementing and living in an anti-inflammatory world in the next four plus weeks, your entire body is suffering from chronic inflammation. And that is what's contributing to weight gain, fatigue, difficulty with sleeping, hormone imbalances, inflammatory fat around the middle, 
very much difficult to maintain and stabilize blood sugar as well as, well as energy as, as well as weight. And it's because of this chronic inflammation, certainly diseases such as Alzheimer's and diabetes, heart disease, cancer, autoimmune disease, all of these are a result of systemic chronic inflammation. And so this is why all of these inflammatory diseases, which by the way, all diseases, uh, the precursor to all, the, all diseases is inflammation. We are going to eat in an anti-inflammatory way. We're going to supplement in an anti-inflammatory way. We're going to work out in an anti-inflammatory way. And I'm going to teach you which superfoods to eat that can help reverse uh, the devastating inflammation which causes these diseases. Certainly we're going to have a focus on the intestinal tract, the gastrointestinal tract, which is responsible for absorbing nutrients, eliminating toxins, regulating immune function, regulating mood, harboring healthy strains of bacterial colonies, and reestablishing balance in the whole, to the whole system. That's what the GI system does. These good bacteria are very necessary for our health. They actually take some of the nutrients and they assimilate uh, essential vitamins, things that we can't make on our own, things that we can't get from food. They are responsible really for the health and wellness of our entire being. So we need to care for them. The way in which we manage stress and our hormone balance or imbalance fluctuations, they actually directly affect the GI system. And, and so it's important that we understand how to continue to care for the GI system um, as it results in uh, our general state of wellness. Hormone balance. There are a lot of things that disrupt our hormone balance. Common foods do this. Skin cleansers, lotions, and cosmetics. These things are called endocrine, endocrine disruptors because they disrupt the cellular function of the endocrine system. So your stress hormone balance, your steroid hormone balance, your sex hormone balance, all of your hormones, the way your body regulates sugar, these are all affected by endocrine disruptors. Often the body is able to self-create, uh, cor correct rather, but we have to rest, we have to de-stress, we have to put the right foods in front uh, of us, and we have to have the appropriate amount of exercise. And maybe sometimes we need to have hormone replacement as well, and, and you can do this safely and effectively with a bio-identical hormone replacement therapy. So really, we need to reconnect as a society because we've been sold on nutritionally empty foods because they taste good. Well, you know, nobody ever said foods actually had to taste good. They need to be healthy and they are information that your body needs in order to run efficiently and effectively. So we need to focus on the quality and not really the taste, though there's no reason why you can't make quality food taste good. And, and have a, a real purpose in delivering the right information. We all know that we are what we eat, which means we eat really are what we eat eats. We really are whether we put pesticides on our foods or not, or if we feed our animals um, antibiotics and growth hormones and so on and so forth. So we have to reconnect to the food that we're eating so that we understand the information that we're giving to our bodies. It's very, very important.